Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to drop columns or keep columns from data frame in R. So what we're going to do is we're going to open R Studio, then create one R script. And here I'm going to set a seed to, let's say, 456. Now I'm going to create one data frame. And for that, I'm going to call data.frame method. And here I'm going to use column A, which will have letters from 1 to 5. Okay, then I will have one more, which will have run if from 5u, then and 15. Then I'm going to have y, which will have sample of 5. Then for z column, I'm going to use r norm, and for that, I'll also pass 5. Okay, now after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to drop a column by name. So, as you can see, first thing we will create our data here and print it out. So let's run this code line by line. And as you can see, we have our column A, X, Y, and Z. Now, to drop a column by name, what we will do is we'll create a new data frame and call for a subset method which will take data from data data frame and then use select to check our column X and Z okay and then we will print that out so let's run this and see how it works and as you can see our X and Z are removed and the new data frame will show column A and Y. Now, the next is dropping a column by index numbers. So we'll use one more data frame, then call for data. And here, so the next example is to drop the column by index numbers. So let's create one data frame, get our column from let's say column 1 from 3 to 4 so column 1 will be x and from 3 to 4 it will drop okay so after that we will just execute this oh sorry Okay, so let's run again. So as you can see, with drop column by index number, we have dropped other columns except X. Now, we will see how to keep column by name. So we'll use keeps and then we will point to X and Z and then what we're gonna do is create one more data frame that will hold our data and then keeps so basically it will just be similar to our drop column by name but here it will keep the column by name so let's run this and now Let's execute df2. And as you can see, it has kept the columns x and z and dropped any other column apart from that. So drop column by name and keep column by name will work pretty much the same, but only the difference of how we are calling for the columns that we are keeping within data frame. So this was a short video on how to drop and keep column from data frame in R.